Tonight, FBI agents are scouring the shooting scene, collecting evidence and digging into the background of the alleged shooter. Saudi pilot Mohammed Saeed Ashrani, one of several hundred foreign pilots training at Pensacola. He was, he was just in the aviation pipeline, so we'll just say he was, he was training in aviation. Investigators are trying to determine how a foreign national obtained a handgun, which is prohibited by law, and carried it onto the base. According to the Middle East Media Research Institute, someone matching the shooter's identity had an extensive online footprint. In a Twitter post, the writer says, Oh, American people, I hate you because every day you supporting funding and committing crimes not only against Muslims, but against humanity. There's obviously going to be a lot of questions about, you know, this individual being a foreign national, being a, a part of the, the Saudi Air Force, and then to be here training on our soil that to do this. Investigators are looking for any hint of radicalization tracing back to his upbringing in Saudi Arabia. King Salman of Saudi Arabia called President Trump after the shooting. The king said that the Saudi people are greatly angered by the barbaric actions of the shooter and that this person in no way, shape, or form represents the feelings of the Saudi people. In 2009, U.S. Army Major Nadal Hassan turned on his fellow soldiers at Fort Hood, killing 13 people. He had been inspired by radical U.S.-born Muslim cleric Anwar al-Laki. And Jeff joins us now. What have we learned about how the shooter was vetted before he began training with our men and women. So the Department of Defense tells us the U.S. Embassy vetted him in Saudi Arabia to see if there were any ties to terrorist organizations. So now, obviously, investigators are going to look back at that process to see if they missed anything. And by the way, Nora, there are about 5,000 foreign students in similar Department of Defense programs around the country right now. 900 of those are from Saudi Arabia. All right, Jeff, thank you.